<laughs> in seventh and eighth grade, we had these dances they called socials. If that made them sound better than the loaded middle school dance, but regardless, most of us went and I remember arriving with a few of my friends and getting out of the car only to walk in the back door of the school and stop cold in my shoes. They were all dancing, but not the dancing that you see on the big movie screens, but the dancing that doesn't fit into the adult chaperones means dancing. And I remember all of a sudden my shirt felt too tight and I'd wonder if I make it through the two hour night by avoiding that cafeteria at all deadly costs. And the friend of, my, <laughs> the friend of mine showed me better than not that that wasn't really an option and maybe I wasn't being logical and fun, but I decided to do what any level-headed, forehead, brace-faced, freckled, confident young girl should do and I slunk out to the pink Pong station because to be honest it seemed more stable than the absurdities that were going on beyond the safety of that green meta table and at the end of it all my prince arrived at this trusty steed and I climbed into the passenger seat and I told my dad that what I need is to never go to one of those again but then high school rolled around winter formal at 10 where I showed up only to feel the same way again but this time there like wasn't a ping pong table and I remember all the sudden my dress felt too tight and I wondered if I'd make it through the end of the three hour night by avoiding the dance floor at all deadly costs and friends of mine showed me better than not that wasn't really an option and maybe I wasn't being logical and this wasn't fun so I decided to do what any ambitious young freshman girl of my high IQ could do and I partied from the edges of the outer floor and I wish I had the confidence to do a little bit more but I was disappointed that it wasn't like the movies and all the dresses were less swanky and more skanky and the dancing was more like hormonally frantic than absolutely romantic and I wonder if F. Scott Fitzgerald was rolling in his grave because this wasn't like a Gatsby escapade but more like a bunch of teenagers trying to get weird. But then you showed up in October and I didn't really have to think it over when you asked because formal would be nothing short of lovely and although hesitant when we walked in I remember all of a sudden everything felt okay and it was convenient to dance your worries away with someone who knew each of them by their god-given name and on the ride home I was smiling and you were sleepy and there was a lot of uncomfortable pins in my hair and you were indescribably handsome and all your smirks and bow tie flair so this year I've been presented with the impeccable task and I say we take the opportunity to add some class and then we dress up and hit that TCC floor and maybe Waffle House when things start to drag and board so maybe you'd be willing to join me another time more and all in all I just wanted to see Keenan Odenkirk, will you go to winter formal with me? <laughs> It's the elusive, will you go to blank with me poem. Sometimes seen at the Tucson Youth Poetry Center. Snap.